Welcome! Let's take a look at using a power function in context. The relationship between the shaft length of the flight feathers of birds and the mass of the bird can be approximated by the function f of m equals 2.3 times m to the 17 fiftieths. In this function, m is the mass of the bird in grams and f is the length of the feather shaft in centimeters. Note that both f and m are non-negative quantities. Length and mass are non-negative. Here's a diagram to show you where the feather shaft would be within a feather. And so if you are thinking about this, you might get the idea that a heavier bird, a bird with more mass, is going to require flight feathers that are longer. If we go ahead and graph this function, then we do see that increased mass of bird will go with an increased feather shaft length. Let's go use the function more specifically. Black capped chickadees have masses of approximately 12 grams. Use the function to estimate the length of the flight feather shaft for this bird. We'll start with our function, f of m equals 2.3 times m to the 17 fiftieths. We have the mass of the bird, 12 grams, and so that's the replacement for m. We have the input m. That means that f of 12, oh, went too fast, that means that f of 12 equals 2.3 times 12 to the 17 fiftieths. If we do a bit of evaluation, we'll find out that f of 12 equals 5.35, and that'll be measured in centimeters. But let's go do that on the calculator. So we're working on the second step on the calculator. We need to do 2.3 times 12, and that needs to be raised to the 17 fiftieths. I'll tell it enter, and this is rounded. 5.35 is rounded to the nearest hundredths. This is the length of the shaft of the flight feather, according to the model, for the black capped chickadee, so it's measured in centimeters, 5.35 centimeters for this one. And if you convert this over to inches, then you get about two inches for this uh, flight feather length, and that seems fairly reasonable for the small bird that is the chickadee. Let's try another one for the American crow. Estimate the mass of an American crow with a flight feather shaft length of 27 centimeters. You're looking for the mass this time and you're given the shaft length. This means that you're looking for the input but you're given the output. In our function, f of m equals 2.3 times m to the 17 fiftieths, 27 is the replacement for f of m, the output. We'll write 27 equals 2.3 times m to the 17 fiftieths, and then we need to start solving for m. This is going to take us a couple steps. We need to divide off the coefficient on m first. We'll divide both sides of the equation by 2.3 to make that happen. Go ahead and leave that left hand side 27 over 2.3 in its fraction form. You'll get 27 over 2.3 is equal to m to the 17 fiftieths. And then we need to work on isolating m and removing that exponent of 17 fiftieths. The way to do that would be with a reciprocal exponent applied to both sides of the equation. The reciprocal of 17 fiftieths is 50 seventeenths. You'll apply 50 seventeenths to both sides of the equation. On the right hand side of the equation, 17 fiftieths and 50 seventeenths We'll simplify so that you just have m to the 1, or just m, left over. 
On the left hand side, that computation needs to be done very carefully. Over here on the calculator, we'll use parentheses 27 divided by 2.3. Close those parentheses. Raise that entire quantity to 50 seventeenths. When we do that, we get 1,399.5487-ish. We can do a little bit of rounding there. 1,399.55 grams would be our value for M. M is the mass, and if you remember back to a previous screen, the mass was measured in grams. If you convert this over to pounds, something that we're a bit more familiar with, I think you get about three pounds for this crow. And I think that is a little heavy, so we may be experiencing some model breakdown here. But this is how the algebra would work. If you were a biologist or some kind of researcher working on something like this, you would have a better feel for whether model breakdown applies here and where to use this model in terms of masses of birds and their flight feather shaft lengths.